Hello everyone. I will provide a brief summary of the work presented in our technical note where we've developed a time efficient protocol for measuring the vertical dose profiles of electron fields produced with total skin electron therapy. Total skin electron therapy uses large electron fields to treat widespread superficial malignancies. Now it's very important for the dose from the electron fields to be uniform across the prescription plane. So dose profiles are measured regularly using an ion chamber attached to a support beam. However, the resulting protocols impose a significant time burden on physics staff, and this is largely due to the fact that a single ion chamber can only measure one position in the field at a time, with multiple irradiations required per position. So you can imagine that sampling enough points to maintain sufficient profile resolution results in very long data collection times, and for us, this is approximately three hours per profile. To improve this protocol, we sought to explore the use of radiochromic film as it can measure dose at all the desired positions simultaneously, and it significantly reduces the number of gantry angle adjustments. Moving on to our methods, 31 vertical profiles were measured using radiochromic film on two matched linear accelerators over one and a half years. Absolute dose was quantified using a triple channel calibration method, and then two ion chamber profiles were collected for comparison to film profiles. We also looked at 21 archived ion chamber measured profiles from two different but matched linear accelerators between 2006 and 2011. Now let's take a look at some of the results. First, we looked at the inter-profile dose variability from the 31 film measured profiles on both Linux with different beam to greater configurations. The dose varied between 0.66 and 5.1% for the two Linux, which was comparable to the variability seen from the archived ion chamber profiles. Next, we looked at the intra-profile variability from the 31 film measured profiles, which ranged from 10 to 15.8%. Now, six of the 31 profiles exceeded the EORTC plus minus 10% limit, and in comparison, archived ion chamber measured profiles exhibited lower intraprofile variability. We addressed this discrepancy by modifying the film buildup. This resulted in comparable intraprofile variability to the ionization chambers and agreements with the plus minus 10% limit. We next qualitatively compared matched film and ion chamber measured profiles taken close in time. The radiochromic film and ion chamber measured profiles agreed within the center of the field. However, the film did tend to exhibit higher variability towards the edges of the field. Again, we addressed this discrepancy using the modified film buildup, which resulted in comparable film and ion chamber profiles across the entire field. And finally, the best part is that the data collection time was reduced from three hours in the ion chamber protocol to just 30 minutes in the film protocol. In conclusion, film measured profiles were within the EORTC plus minus 10% limit, are comparable to ion chamber measured profiles, are stable over time, and their resulting data collection protocols offer substantial time savings with an 84% more efficient protocol. So please check out our technical note to learn more details and thanks for listening.